Hey everyone, I'm Janice. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video and I have something very exciting to share with you all. I feel like there should be a drum roll for this. We're going to be talking about Tony Moe's Tuffle Boots Big Wallet. This is a work of art. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to share this with you. But first, I'm going to give a little background. So, your wallet is something that's with you every day. You touch it every day, you use it every day, and it's truly an everyday carry. And I think it's something that you have to get right for yourself and your lifestyle. So you really need to think about what it is you're looking for in a wallet. So where I started, like I do most of the time before I go shopping for anything, I start in my own closet and I look at what didn't work. So I don't know if any of you have a basket that looks like this of old wallets. And I think it's funny that I keep them in a basket because I have a little bit of Goldilocks syndrome when it comes to wallets. You know, this one was too big, this one was too small, this was too heavy, this was too light. I had all sorts of reasons why I stopped using various wallets at various times. But I point that out as a good place to start because if you go through and you look at where you were and what you were using at different times, you start to think about what you really need and your requirements. That's how we would say it at work. What are your requirements? So maybe you need a lot of credit card pockets, a driver's license window, um, a place for cash, maybe a different place for receipts. I know some of you like to carry little inserts and different notebooks. So, you know, make your list of whatever it is you're looking for. So I'll share with you, just continuing with that, when I had found Louis Vuitton Epi Green Leather, I thought I had found my forever wallet, if there is such a unicorn. So, um, like many of us, I started with just a wallet. And this looks so dated to me now. You know, this is great for cash and receipts but it's really not great for a place to have your credit cards or your driver's license. It just doesn't really fit our lifestyles. Or I don't think it fits our lifestyles anymore, at least not for me. So then I saw people were using the Louis Vuitton MM, the medium, and you know, this is nice, but I'm not really a big fan of ring binders in my everyday carry. I think that makes things a little bit bulky and it's just really not for me. So I started using the pocket and this worked for years, actually. This has been my wallet for a really long time. And um, I really enjoyed it. But what was wrong with the pocket was that it didn't have a good place for cash. I was sticking it in a little plastic folder and I just didn't like how that looked. It just, this is a wallet, it just didn't make sense. So I put together my requirements and I went searching on the internet and I found Janet Carr's article in A Bug's Life and I will link that below. It's really worth a read because that's how I got introduced to Tony Mo. And when I went to the Tony Mo Tuffle Boots website, there were just so many options with leathers and pockets and credit card holders. It, it was perfect. So I'm gonna stop talking now so we can get into the wallet. Okay, so this is the Tuffle Boots big wallet like I mentioned. I love the little card that it comes with that reminds you that it's 100% hand stitched and it's handmade in Birmingham, England. So um, it comes like this and you also get a little keychain as a gift from Tony Mo. I think that's really cute. It has the logo of the old boot. Love that. Alright. So the leather itself, the outside leather is a, uh, it's common chromed tan leather. It's a common leather and uh, I got it in black and Tony had never worked in black leather before. So I did black with black threading and this is like we said all hand stitched. It is a saddle stitch which is very common with leather works but when I saw this I actually asked Tony what it was because I thought it looked a little bit different. It has like a rope effect. I don't know if you can see the beautiful texture but all hand stitched and um, I'll go into some of the features. So I added an outside pocket. This is an option. This doesn't come like this. You can get it without the pocket, but or you can add the pocket. And then with the snap. Notice the elastic closure, very common with our traveler's notebooks. And it's a one inch spine. So actually now you can see the spine and you can see what it looks like with the card holder. Uh, sorry, not the card holder, the phone holder. I also will mention I have an Android S7. My phone fits perfectly in here. And on the website, it says the iPhone um, i6 or whatever version you're on should fit perfectly. There's plenty of room. This is the personal size, which means it's 3.75 by 6.75. 
and uh, basically, you know, just under four by seven. So it's got plenty of room. This also comes in field note size. And just for comparison of sizes, you know, here's uh, just a traveler's notebook and this is field note. So personal and field note, just to give you a little bit of comparison on sizing. If you're visual like me, I don't know too much about inches and measurements, but I do know visual. So that gives you a little idea of what that looks like. So let's open up the wallet. And here we have the bill folders. This is by far my favorite feature of the wallet because what we've got a snap closure and we've got broken out by denomination the bill. So it's a really interesting bill holder. I've never seen anything like it. I really believe this is unique to tough old boots. So I really enjoyed that. And I added the mesh pocket. So there's a pocket, this actually comes out um, and I took it out and then I had a hard time putting it back in. But you've got a little pocket here and to remind me to tell you about that, I tucked in a little notebook. I usually have a little notebook with me, a little mini. So you've got a little pocket here and um, the coin mesh pocket is great. You can see your coins very easily if you want to give exact change and I love this. It's a very nice thin leather. The inside leather is a veg tan leather and this is all um, hand dyed black. So, you know, really beautiful work, snap closures, very nice. I've got the secretarial pocket here and I just put in some stamps. You could put in stickers, whatever your needs are. This is a one inch spine again. So we've got here four elastics and I just was gonna mention, you know, you could put your little notebook here. I've got a calendar by Frizzizzle, Taylor, another Florida girl, very nice, that fits in nicely. And on the back side here, we've got the um, credit cards and a place for your, this is a driver's license window. And this was also something that I wanted that was added and not something that Tony Mo had done prior. So this is new, but you can get that added. So we've got six credit card slips and a driver's license window. Uh, slot. Six credit card slots and a driver's license window. So um, this is very nice. And on the back we've got the little boot. And I've seen people, I really like the boot, I've seen people put it on the front, on the flap, and I think that's also a nice design element, so you can do that as well. But this is definitely a sturdy piece. It's called the big wallet for a reason. It is big, it is heavy, it is sturdy, it is durable. This is gonna be with you for a very long time. Now, I love this piece, and I've walked you through the functionality, but I'm gonna also tell you there's a part two to this video coming because I am going to have this revised a little bit for me and my lifestyle. When I got this, I realized that, um, first off, just aesthetically, I feel like it's a little masculine for me and my taste, so I'm gonna actually remove the pocket so when you see it again, it'll look like just a traveler's notebook. Just plain, you know, I don't need the, uh, the phone pocket, the outside pocket. So I'm gonna take that off. The other thing is I realized for myself that I didn't want an elastic closure for my wallet. I wanted the snap closure. So we're gonna have a snap closure from the side and I'm gonna have Tony put the Tough Old Boots logo on the, on the front because I just think it's adorable. Now a couple of other things, um, I love this and this, like again, the, this is so unique, I mean, this is one of the selling points of the wallet, so I'm keeping this. The only thing, um, first off, you'll notice you really can't see the denomination of the bills, US dollar bills. Uh, it doesn't bother me, but I thought I'd mention it in case somebody is particular and that's, you know, just something to be aware. So the little uh, tabs cover the denomination, again, it doesn't bother me. But what I'm gonna do in part two, I'm calling it, is that I'm actually gonna put a snap on the secretarial and hold it like this. The money's not gonna go anywhere. I'm not worried about the bills falling out. But the truth is, I just don't want to open up to the cash. I'd rather have this like this. And then if I decide to pay with cash, I can open it up. So I'd rather have it kind of designed like this, keeping the secretarial pocket, keeping the one inch Spine, keeping the four elastics. And this is really the biggest change that I'm making. You know, we've got the card holders and there's a pocket here too. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's again, a lot of pocket room here, very well thought out product. But I had a hard time getting my cards in and out 
Now any leather is going to be very tough when you start off, especially you know this particular um, veg tan leather is going to be very tough. And I wanted something tough that didn't you know scratch easily. You know I could have done the pull up leather, that's certainly an option, but I had gone with this because I thought it would be more durable. But the challenge I've had is that again it's just hard to get your cards in and out. Um, with time they will soften, Tony did mention that to me. So over time you can you know work with it. Uh, maybe I'm just impatient, I don't know, but I definitely had a hard time with this. So in version two I will not have these particular card holders and the license like this. Um, I'm gonna get just a secretarial pocket and like I said on the back I'll move the logo to the snap because it's just too cute. So that's some changes that are coming. I just want to mention a couple more details and you'll find this on Tony's website so I definitely encourage you to go to the uh, tuffleboots.co.net uh, I think it is. I'll put it the link below. So uh, a couple things. Pockets, you have so many options. I've talked about secretarial pockets. So you've got flat edge, you've got um, all sorts of things. This is a product by Three Speckled Fawns. Some of you are familiar with their leather inserts for wallets, the zipper, and the one without the zipper. And truthfully, when I ordered this, I think this is what I had in mind because I already had this. And this is a very soft leather, so it's very easy to get your credit cards and cards in and out. Um, so think about that when you're ordering this. And note that there is a pocket option like this with the flat edge. And uh, you can certainly see that on the website and you know choose accordingly. There's also an option that Tony has for the secretarial with a little slit. I made this but one slit. We've seen those kind of pockets where you put like a card in there. So that's an option for the pocket. And the other option that I'm going to be going with that I thought was very cute is the, um, the edged. This probably isn't the best example but it's kind of big so I wanted to show you how you have like a little cutout. So Tony is able to do like an edge um, pocket, which I think is really nice and easy to get cards in and out. On the Tony Mo website, it says to allow 10 to 14 days for delivery, and it will take you a little while to get this wallet, really like any of the Traveler's Notebook artesian pieces that we purchase. It takes a while for the craftsman to actually make it. Remember, this is hand stitched, and uh, you know it'll take a little while. This particular product took a couple months, but in fairness, Tony Mo told me it would take a while because I wanted the black on black, and that was something unique that he hadn't done quite this way before. So it won't take as long for you, but um, you know it will take a little while. And in terms of pricing, just to give you an idea, like this is the personal size, like I said, but starting with the field note size, on his website, the money is indicated in pounds. He's in the UK. But if you're in the U.S., the conversion is, for every pound, it equates to like $1.42 U.S. So roughly the field note size without the pockets and all the fixins is roughly about $57 plus postage. So I would say budget about $75. And then it goes up from there if you add the outside front low pro profile pocket or if you want you know, the clamshell backing and so forth. It goes through all of that on the website. But if you want it fully loaded, you're probably looking at a good, you know, hundred and some odd dollars, okay? Personal size is a bit more, obviously it's bigger. And without the pockets, you can get this for about $65 plus postage. So I would say budget about $80. And then if you add pockets, it goes up from there. Fully loaded, you're probably looking at just under about $130. And again, budget accordingly, I'm, I'm estimating just based on the conversion factor, but I know people will want to know pricing. So I wanted to give that to you. And I don't want to misspeak, that's where the prices are currently. And uh, postage will vary, obviously. So that's my overview. Uh, I don't want to even say review. I think that's my overview of the Tony Mo Tuffle Boots Big Wallet. I hope you enjoyed it. Like my video and please subscribe. Thank you so much. Ciao for now.